Hey survivors, Angie Atkinson here with QueenBeing.com. Today we're going to talk about how to prepare for court when you're dealing with a narcissist. All right. Now, here's one thing I want to point out about today's video. I am not a lawyer. I am not a legal expert, and these are tips that I have learned from my own situations and as as, as well as from those of my clients and from my research. So always, always check with your attorney before you listen to any of these tips. You can totally listen to them, but don't implement them unless you're sure that it's legal and safe to do so in your state, okay? Let's get going. My name is Angie Atkinson, and this channel is all about teaching you what I know to be true. You really can create the life you want. So let me just tell you, when I got divorced from my ex-husband, we owned basically nothing, and what we did own, we divided up before we walked away, which is mostly just furniture. Um, mostly he took the furniture and I took the kid, and that was how it went. But this was a long time ago, and this was when I was, you know, 23 years old. So times have changed, and, and people have stuff. <laughs> if I were to, God forbid, get divorced from my current husband, it would become a lot more complicated than it did back then. It was only complicated by the fact that we had a child at that time. So whether you're divorcing a narcissist or you're going to court to, you know, battle custody or whatever. It's incredibly important that you get yourself a good lawyer, number one, and number two, that you, you know, do your research, do your due diligence, as it were. Don't expect the narcissist to play fair in court, all right? So we're going to talk about a few things that you can do to prepare yourself and to, you know, do your quote unquote homework so that you go into court prepared and you don't have to worry about being deceived or about the court being deceived by the narcissist. You get all your ducks in a row, it'll it, it'll solve the problem. Narcissists are incredibly arrogant. And so they might cause you to they might show up to court thinking that they're gonna win no matter what and they may not have any proof at all. So sometimes all you have to do is walk into court with proof of what you're saying is true. But we're going to talk about that. Let's Tip number one, talk to the people in your life who you know and trust and ask around. Who's a good divor divorce attorney? Find someone that has experience with a manipulator if possible. Um, you know, sometimes you, you know, you might even like check in your span group. Like if you if you're in my span group, which is uh, you can get at queenbeing.com slash span for free. It's my free and confidential online support group. for. It's called span because su support for people affected by narcissism in relationships, you know. All right. So ask around, ask online, ask people that you know and trust or people that you know who have been there before. Because a lot of the time, number one, the first consultation is free and they'll really give you an idea of what your chances are of not having a terrible situation when it's all over and a lot of times even just knowing what your what the process would be can be incredibly helpful for you okay so um, you know I think that the lawyer oftentimes will agree to work with you during that first consultation and, and that's always helpful and they'll let you know what your fees are uh, but you know what the fee would be to work with them um, so a lawyer that is is experienced in this stuff and who has their mind in the right um, place, as it were, can be really helpful. Uh, one thing I want to point out to you, one of my clients uh, had an attorney in California who was incredibly good, but the attorney, a female, had a little trouble with, um, you know, she kind of seemed real abrupt to the client, but the attorney actually had experience dealing with people with narcissistic abuse recovery issues. And, and had dealt with narcissists in previous court cases before. So it turned out that even though the attorney was kind of gruff to the client, she turned out to be a great weapon in the court case and everything worked out to the client's benefit. So keep that in mind. Make sure that you understand the personality of the attorney and make sure that it's one that might be helpful in your court case, all right? You need someone strong and someone knowledgeable and someone who understands what it feels like to be manipulated. That's my point. Back when I was going through my divorce, they told me, document, 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 and that is good information. Write down everything that happens. But what you have today that I didn't have in uh, 1998, <laughs> what? don't judge me, I'm old, it's okay. Anyway, what I didn't have in 1998 that you have today is easy access to the internet, okay? 
And so, you know, save everything that comes through from this person, especially those things that would incriminate them if need be. So for example, uh, my, my client that I was mentioning to you before, she went to court with a narcissist and she had text messages, emails, et cetera, et cetera, provable items that had been, were easily proven to be sent from his devices and whatnot that actually completely incriminated him and she won the court case as a result of it. So save your emails, save letters, save Facebook messages, anything that you have that can be associated with that narcissist, save it, even if you don't think it's important at the moment, okay? You just never really know. The fact is that if you if you happen to find out that, let's say your narcissist is cheating on you and you learn that by, you know, going into the person's phone and seeing all the stuff, you shouldn't do that. But if you did it, <laughs> Uh, screenshot it and send it to yourself before they delete it if you can okay just the information has come in so conveniently and handy for people who have been in court cases just my clients that I'm talking about just people that I've spoken to research I've done this is what I understand to be true so I hope that's useful to you um, excuse my voice I have this little bitty of head cold it's not that bad just mostly annoying <laughs> Anyway, so next we're going to talk about how to become your own detective. Once again, something that we have today that we didn't have back in 98 is, of course, the internet, which really makes it so much easier to find out things that were hap that are happening, okay? And so say that you're, your narcissist, say you're the primary custody parent, and say your narcissist has stopped paying child support because I just have no job, what am I supposed to do? maybe they just think you make more money than them or they're just assholes and they don't want to pay for their kid. Either way, if you notice that they're, you know, posting pictures from their big Hawaiian vacation on Facebook, well, you might want to save those and the dates, okay? Screenshot them, whatever you got to do. Pretty sure that in most cases, a judge is going to be like, wait, what? why would you not pay child support but yet you have enough money to go on some crazy vacation to the Caribbean or Florida or whatever you know what I'm saying so make sure that you save copies of those okay um, do you know how to do that if you're on your computer you know you just right click and save it um, or download it or whatever I suggest screenshots even on your computer because screenshots offer the dates okay if you if you hit it up correctly. So that's something to think about. Um, all right. You can also, um, you know, I, I, just if you don't know how to do a screenshot, let me know in the comments and I'll do a little video on that. I'm not going to explain to you how to do a screenshot, okay? Um, but like I said, the screenshot thing, um, using Google Cache if you've already X'd out of it and they've already deleted it, um, you can use all sort of things. You know what I'm saying? So do whatever you need to do, but understand this. Only do it for the purpose of, you know, making sure that you get a fair shake in this whole thing. Don't do it so that you can, you know, make, take revenge on the narcissist or anything else like that. Only do this in order to make sure that you have a fair court case and that if you are trying to, you know, get your kids or, or whatever, that you have all the documentation that you need, okay? Um, so, and on, on another note, on that same line, you got to make sure that you're prepared for this mentally because you might be very hurt, very emotionally scarred by the things you see. It might really trigger some issues for you. So the, the more, you know, the sooner it is that you start doing this, the, the earlier you begin to collect this evidence, the more sensitive to your own self you're going to have to be so that you don't end up doing something to cause yourself this horrible pain but that you can still do it in order to you have to kind of gray rock yourself in this situation you have to go you know what it sucks that it's happening this way I'm devastated it's terrible but I still need to protect myself and or my children okay so that's the kind of attitude you have to take so I'm gonna go into some things that will help you for um, you know things that you have to keep track of okay so one of the things that I suggest is that you start a document on your phone however you choose to do it you could use Trello you could use Evernote those are free free uh, 
apps. I like Evernote for almost everything, but uh, then what you want to do is you want to put down, like, each time you get a phone call from the narcissist, at, you know, during the divorce proceedings, um, write down or type down, uh, you know, the phone call date, type down the subject, like what you talked about, and any notes about the conversation. Or you could handwrite it, you know, keep a little notebook in your, in your purse or your pocket or whatever. And then if the narcissist is supposed to pick up the children one day and doesn't show up, write that down. If the narcissist is supposed to, you know, re-roof your house or something and they don't show up to do it, write that down. I know that's a weird thing to say, but sometimes that's part of the deal when you get divorced. Uh, you know, whatever they're supposed to do. If, if they were supposed to pay the kids tuition to private school and they didn't, write it down. Keep a record. Okay, the point is that anything that happens can help you... Um, potentially in court even if it doesn't seem important right now so make sure that anything that's going on during the divorce you're keeping a record of it that's really important okay um, if you are harassed by someone else that's connected to the narcissist even the new girlfriend new supply whatever same deal all right um, again like I said it's really not about hurting the narcissist okay it's truly just about protecting yourself the fact is that certainly it's painful to collect that evidence and certainly um, it's not something that you even want to have to go through. I understand that. I know it's painful. But I want you to understand something else. And that is that by taking these steps, you're going to take steps toward really starting your new, better life. Even though you might be devastated right now, you could probably admit to yourself that you felt horrible and miserable with when you were with the narcissist. And so if you are on the way out right now, I want you to do your very best to try to see this as a blessing in disguise. Try to see this as an opportunity for you to start over, to start a life that you create, a life that you want for yourself, a life in which you get to be respected and treated as an equal and treated with love even if it only starts with yourself, my friend. Okay? You deserve that. I want you to have that, and that's why I do what I do every single day. All right? Okay. Oh, you might be interested to know that in the new universe of B that opens on Valentine's Day, I will be um, <laughs> kind of excited. I will be actually having an entire... Uh, there, there are a couple of courses going in on this particular topic, as well as in the premium self-help library tons of free resources for you there too books and ebooks and reports and all kinds of good stuff to help you get through this okay plus because this has been a subject that has been requested I will be talking about this more in the future so if you have questions or you know comments or concerns about going to court with a narcissist about divorce about child custody with a narcissist leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure that I integrate them into future videos okay thank you guys so much for being here today thank you for being a part of my day and a part of my life and thanks for letting me be a part of yours it really truly means a lot to me and I am grateful for it every single day I'll see you guys soon have a wonderful evening it's my mission to teach others what I know to be true you really can create the life you want take care of your body Take care of your soul, nurture the real you, and introduce him or her to the world. Be comfortable in your own skin and in your place in this world. Take your spot, take it now, and the universe will take its cue from you. You feel me? If so, subscribe to my channel. Let's get it done together.